It's vlog time and welcome to March. Look, tulips. That means spring is almost here. Whoops. Okay, I know I said it's almost spring, but we're going back to February in the Winter Olympics. Now, CBC's primetime coverage captured an average minute audience of just over 3 million viewers. Now, that's across all of its broadcast partners. It is estimated that 31 million Canadians tuned into some form of Olympic coverage, and that's down 6% from Sochi 2014. <laughs> Jerry Howarth, that legendary longtime voice of the Toronto Blue Jays, has retired after 36 years, sadly due to health concerns. Now, if you're a dedicated Blue Jays fan like my mom was, it's like losing a member of your family. We wish Jay all the best. <laughs> reboots, reboots, the craze continues as new pilots have been announced for classics Magnum P.I. and one of my favorite TV series of all time, Cagney and Lacey. No doubt there's going to be more to come and we'll talk about that in April and May. <laughs> Next, please welcome our newest vlog correspondent, Michael Wisnuck. He has great hair. <laughs> Everyone is talking about first and second price bidding. The dominant programmatic buy model now is second price bidding. Say two advertisers are bidding on an impression. If advertiser A offers a $3 CPM and advertiser B offers a $2 CPM, advertiser A will win that bid because they bid the higher price. In second price bidding, it's the second highest price that determines what the auction winner actually pays. So say advertiser B offered a $2 CPM, advertiser A will only have to pay $2.01 CPM because that's one cent over the second highest price. In first price bidding, if advertiser A won the bid with $3, that's what they're gonna pay. Many publishers and sell-side platforms want to shift to first price bidding, but what does that mean for DSPs, agencies, and their clients? This could result in CPMs going up as ad buyers figure out how to adapt to this change in the marketplace. It will be important for traders and ad tech professionals to remain on the cutting edge in developing sophisticated methods to get a good price for impressions. It will also be important for sellers to be transparent about how they're selling their inventory to make sure we're all able to deliver good value to our clients. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next month.